Hey everybody, today we're gonna to go through and I'm gonna show you how to use a view lookup when you wanna reference another sheet. This is most commonly used when you want to put your table array on a different sheet. So in my example here, I've got a list of different drinks in column A and I've got my table array over in E and F. And of course, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna type my view lookup and you can see that it's returning the type of drink of every single one of my list besides banana, which I'll get that added right here. Perfect, now it's referencing everything in my list. And you can see here in my formula that I'm referencing E and F for the table array, which of course is in the same sheet here. And just to keep my data clean and look a little bit nicer, I would like this E and F to be on a separate tab, and that's what we're gonna go through today. So let's get started. I went and I got rid of the table array, of course, and we're gonna go into the cell that we want the VLOOKUP to return a value in, and we're gonna start the same way that we did before. We're gonna type equals VLOOKUP with an open parentheses. I'm gonna have the lookup value be the name of my drink, so I'm gonna click A2. I'm gonna type a comma to move to the table array, and this is where it's gonna get a little bit different. All we need to do is go down to the tab that we have the table array inside of. So I named mine down here table array to keep it straightforward and making sense, but you can call your tabs anything you want. So I'm just gonna click on here while I still have the VLOOKUP open. You can see that I typed out the table array and I'm just gonna highlight my two columns the same way that I did before. Now it's important that you look up at the formula bar. Even though I'm on a new tab, you can see that Excel is still referencing the same cell that we were writing the lookup on before. That being said, once I've got the table array referenced, I can just type comma. I'm gonna write two comma then false as I would normally finish the VLOOKUP, close the parentheses and then click enter. And you can see when I clicked enter, it automatically brought us back to the tab that we started this on. And I'm able to drag down my formula the same way as before and all the values are turned. So clicking on your tab is probably the most straightforward way to get it referenced. But just so you know how to do it, all you need to do is inside of these little single quotations, you just type the name of your tab right here. I called it table array, which is down here as well. You close those out, put an explanation point, and then you just reference whatever cells are within that tab. You can also use this strategy across different workbooks and it works the same way. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and give the video a like. If you have any questions, just put it in the chat below and I'll try to help you out. Thanks again.